Well, I'm curious, like, what led you to this kind of music or dance? Yeah. Like, I didn't know what to expect. You know what I mean? But that's what I like about Adina Menzel is when I saw, oh, a new single out. And I thought, oh, you know, hit play. And then I was like, oh, a dance track. You know, it could have yeah. been anything. So what led you yeah. more sort of leaning towards this genre? Um, well, first of all, I just wanted to do music that I that I love, that I I think is really fun that uh, I wasn't overthinking about music that was going to groove that people would get up and dance to. Then I realized, okay, so disco and dance music really lends itself to big melodic singers. So like Donna Summer and even Barbara Streisand back in the day had her dance music, you know, disco album. By and the then- way, you know that um, uh, what what is, uh, uh, Annie get your gun. Uh, who was the like old time Ethel Merman? Ethel Merman. Yes. She even she had a disco album. No, she did. No, she did. Okay, well, she I wasn't inspired did. by that one, but um, <laughs> as much as she's, you know, the the um the she's amazing. That's not what I was going for. I did not go back and listen to that one. But um, just as but, well. yeah, or like or like Cher, you know, when she came yeah. out like, with uh, Believe and all that. So. Um, and I think that that kind of music really lends itself to those big voices and still having a really contemporary beat underneath. So that was a, that was the thing. Cause I, I, I knew I wanted to make a contemporary album, but I didn't want to change who I was. And I, and that's kind of why it's called drama queen. I, I, I know I am theatrical in the, in the best way, you know, I'm trying to like put a positive spin on the word, sort of like diva gets, you know, a negative connotation. And it's like, these are all the many moods and sides of who I am, which make me really cool and an interesting person and um, passionate about what I do. And so I just kind of, you know, I wanted people to feel that way also uh, about themselves as well. And also I am a queen in my mind, but also in many of the roles that I have played. So um, it's sort of just like, in, you know, embracing all of that. And and then there's the fact that it is um, coming out during uh, Pride and that it's definitely um, a, sort of a love letter and a, and a thank you to the queer community for just kind of teaching me how to be a better human being and always um, through their courage and and um, for leading authentic lives. It is interesting how from the very beginning of your career and it that that has to do with um that has to do with some of the the the, the content that you've created some of the things that you've been in but the the gay community the queer community has really embraced you from the very very beginning and it it is so interesting how certain artists you know are embraced and others aren't why do you think for you you were embraced by them. And I also love that you're kind of giving back to that now and you're doing so many pride events, which we'll get into in a minute. I, you know, this is one of those questions I always get asked and I'm never quite sure how to answer it. Oh, so it's not an um, original question? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not. But it's a good question and yet I'm never quite sure how to answer it. Um, I've actually asked some of my gay friends when they ask me, what do you think... Um, what, why is it that you resonate with with the queer community? And my friends say to tell them, it's because I'm fierce, uh, I'm not afraid to be who I am, and I sing my ass off. <laughs> but um, I but, think that's as good an answer I as mean, any. Yeah. yeah. But deep down, obviously, I got my start with Rent, um, and uh, which was the first show to show real um, – love and uh all kinds of relationships and um i think it's one of the first shows to do that and um and then like elphaba and elsa um are these beautiful um characters that uh really you know um are kind of alienated for being who they are and um and take a risk and when they really um allow their true power to come out so i'm sure there's a connection there um but i don't um i guess i just want to make sure as i go through and talk about this album that i'm that, that there's the recognition that i am i have learned so much from them it's not like what i've done for them it's what they've done what what they've done for me they've taught me how i want to be how i want to live how i don't want to make compromises and um in my life 